Hello everyone, welcome back to another garden update. It is September 7th today, and it is cold this morning. It's a little cold. Fall is definitely, fall is definitely on its way. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta take this tent down here, because we haven't been in it at all, because it's been cold, but yeah, fall is coming. So let's get into the garden, see how it's looking, September 7th. We're definitely gonna get another harvest of this chocolate mint. It's all growing back. It's looking really good. I harvested a bunch of the um, lemon balm here. I harvested a bunch of the the, uh, the seeds here. We have tons and tons of lemon balm seeds. So I definitely want to do that in the uh, seed giveaway that I'm trying to work on. I really want to make it happen. It would be really cool. I might open up. I might open up a shop in the future on the online shop where uh, people can order seeds from the garden, if that's something you're interested in. Be kind of cool, <clears throat> something new, branch out, little side hustle, you know what I'm saying? I actually have to cut down these and move all the seeds, because if you can, they're full and full of seeds, and I don't really want them spreading like crazy here, so I'm just gonna put the seeds around, save some, and yeah, spread some in different areas so we got more flowers uh, next year. You can see that we're still getting sunflowers. That one's looking real nice. Beautiful. We got a bunch of others growing still. And uh, I picked some of the tops off of some of them because the birds have been eating the, uh, eating all the seeds and I do need seeds to plant for next year. So, Hey, there's a bird right there. You know, it was eating up. <laughs> yeah, been uh, getting sunflower seeds to plant next year. So that's good. This mugwort's doing good back here. There's another one back there. I want, I'm trying to get seeds from those. I gotta go around here. You can see all the beautiful sunflowers. Doing well. Um, yeah, not much. Oh, excuse me. Not much for the corn. This is our popcorn. <laughs> Not much at all going on there. So, yeah, no corn this year, but that's okay. It was worth a try. You never know. It's always worth a try. Got a tiny little cob. That's starting. <laughs> a little nothing of a cob. Oh, well. It's cute. Oh, look at this little tiny sunflower. Tiny, tiny little one. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Food forest garden bed is doing good. Um, I'm not sure if the strawberries, because sometimes they'll produce again. They'll try to make more flowers in the fall, but it doesn't look like the strawberry is trying to, which is okay. That is all right. Got a lot of berries from the, these this year, which is good. By the way, if you want, you can check us out on Instagram. We got an Instagram account. It's under the same name, Some Wild Things, if you want to check it out. Uh, links will be in the description as well for all the different social medias. Definitely check it out. If you are if you are in the Instagrams. <laughs> Here's the uh, Echinacea. They're still trying to make flowers, which is neat. They're doing really well this year. I'm not sure what's happening with this winter green. I don't know if it's just straight up dying or it's trying to, um, it has to uh, go down into the roots and then establish and come back. We'll wait and see. We might not know until next year. So fingers crossed. We'll be okay. I really hope so. Be good. Yeah, everybody's doing good in here. Those have come free. It's trying to make some more, fla more leaves. Yeah, it's doing all right. There's the rhubarbs, all the uh, wildflowers, doing good, calendula, this guy's pretty much done, I think, these are the little ones there, just cool, but all the birds have eaten all these seeds, look how good the yucca is looking, so happy, it's the best, it's the best it's been, best I've seen it. It's doing really well, you know. This is really good. 
And in here is all the, the snap peas. Some new ones I planted that are starting to grow. We might not get anything from them in time. I just did it just because I like to just, you know, you never know. You never know. And this garden is doing, it's doing good. The, uh, I tried some of the, I tried some of the carrots. They're pretty small. They might get bigger. They might stay really small. It might have just been, again, too many of them, too compacted together. Oh, I'm going to have to try a different method for planting carrots for sure <laughs> next year. We're getting some mustard greens coming up. You can see all these little ones in the uh, arugula here. And uh, there's a lemon balm right here, actually. It smells really good. Just been letting that grow. There's some snap peas right there that I planted. There's a bean. I don't really remember planting the bean, but there's a bean, which is kind of cool. Super random. And the kales. Kale is still doing really good. They're actually getting really... They're starting to grow very well now because of... Uh, because of the cold weather, they're starting to love it. See these ones here too? So I might have to just harvest a bunch of these and we can freeze them and use them later on. And the beets are doing a bit better and also they're the, um, what are they called? Swiss chard, the chard, this one right here. They're just popping up out of nowhere and they're really happy about this weather, like this one right here. This chart is doing really good. So yeah, I might have to harvest a bunch of these leaves and save them for like smoothies and stuff. Might be a good idea. So we can uh, just capitalize on them. <laughs> capitalize on it. On the moment. These tobaccos are doing good. All the mapachos. Mapacho tobacco. Still going. We have so much tobacco from the plants this year. Like... Pfft. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I don't even really smoke tobacco. It's very rare. And when I do, it's like out of the pipe and it's not even inhaled. Because I don't really like it. It's not really good to smoke. I mean, it's not really good to smoke anything in general. But, you know what I'm saying. Uh, these guys are doing alright. This is the um, valerian right here. Valerian root. And these guys, this is the marshmallow. I'm not going to harvest them. I'm just going to keep letting them grow so they get bigger and bigger. So we can get massive roots from them in the future. The so Whisper Rose Shades is still making beautiful flowers. Such a cool tobacco. Super neat. It's such a special one. And over here, let's go on to this side. All the beans. We're getting some more beans. These ones have been doing the best out of all the bean plants, for sure. That one's on the side. Been getting some. Been eating them. Some beans. And the cucumbers have been doing okay. They've been trying to make more. See all these little ones. Just haven't, like, got a bounty of them to pickle. I want, like, they've just been randomly sparse. And they, they go bad before I'm able to, like, save it to pickle. Which is okay. Yeah, kind of is how it is. Use that weird one. I really do think I need to put more nutrients in the soil. So luckily I have so much compost that when the fall comes and everything is done, I am going to put tons of compost in these beds for next year. Tons of compost so they can uh, bring the nutrients back. Should be really good. Uh, tomatoes, the, the tomatoes have been doing really good. Been picking a lot of them. Tons and tons of little cherry tomatoes. And the deer, the deer have come and nibbled a few times, which you can see. Look on the tops there. Just been coming and nibbling on them. But they haven't been eating all the tomatoes, which is really good. They just chew on a little bit of the leaves and that's about it. So I've been really lucky there. To not have all the tomatoes eaten away. What's a jalapeno doing? Oh yeah, we're getting some more jalapenos. Our jalapeno plant that's hiding underneath here. That's good. Good to see. 
but yeah, lots of tomatoes, and they're they're all doing very very good. Getting a lot of tomatoes. The whole holy basil, it's doing fantastic. More tobaccos over here. This is the bed that had the potatoes in it. You can see there's some things starting to sprout out. Little mustard greens. Uh, there's some random snap peas in there. Let's see what happens there. And yeah, that's gonna be interesting. There's all these. Oh, the little squash in this bed. How are they doing? Oh, male flowers. Actually, there were some female flowers that I pollinated um, this morning. I'll show you. But there's this one squash right here. I think that's the only one on this side. Yeah, because I have a squash in this one, too. Forgot to show that, because he's always hiding. I can barely tell that there's even one in here. See, there it is. A little tiny, a little tiny, tiny thing. Yeah, on this side with this massive pumpkin. Finally, I need a female flower right here. So I pollinated it this morning, and we'll see if it takes. But even if it does, it only has like maybe a month and a half to grow. So it's, yeah, we, it just might not be super good. We'll see. If not, we'll just make it into a little tiny jack-o'-lantern. Because this, this one, one uh, female flower here too. So we got two this morning of nowhere, which is cool. So they're pollinated to the best of my abilities. And we'll see what happens there. See, th these beans in this side, um, they haven't been doing as good. They haven't been doing as good as the other ones, which is interesting. But... They're making some. They're making some. So it's alright. It's alright. Hop over to these. Thai basil. Those little mampachos. This datura just keeps coming back. Look how big it is. I keep thinking it's done and then it grows more and more. And it just keeps going. It's a strong, big strong plant. Like these ones seem like they're finishing up. These little scraggly ones, like this one too, is really scraggly. Very scraggly, but it's still going. Still going. And these mugworts are doing good. Gotta harvest those as they grow. And the marigolds. This bed. All the holy basil. This basil, I'm just letting this one, this is the dark opal basil, just letting that grow in, just make as many seeds as possible, so we have seeds for next year. Um, these, this is the uh, dream root, he's actually pretty big, and look at this, it's making a lot of flowers, so we might get lucky and get some dream root seeds, should be really good, because I wasn't sure if we were going to get any, but I don't have any, let's see how this bed is doing. Not much, kind of same, just a big, big mess besides this, the hops. Here we go. They're getting bigger, little tiny hops. I don't know if they're going to get bigger or they're going to stay this small this year. I don't, no idea. Maybe it put all of its energy into growing bigger because the plant grew huge this year. There's some nice ones. But they're very small. Very small. And I don't think we're going to harvest. I love doing the um, September hops harvest in the wild. But we're probably not going to do it this year because we have enough hops as it is stored away. <laughs> we don't really need any more. Oh, here's our, 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 our other basil. They're doing really well. Oh, smells so good. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Just wanted to do a quick little update. It's been a bit. September is here. And, yeah. Things are looking up. Things are growing. Growing on. Looking beautiful out in here. And we're going to do some more harvesting soon. And 
yeah, keep going. Keep going at it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. Little garden update. Thanks so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the future in another video. Peace.